Good day, everyone. Here I am again. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. So in our previous lesson, we talked about corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and co-interior angles. These are the types of angles formed by parallel lines and a transversal. A transversal is that line that crosses a pair of parallel lines forming eight angles. So if you missed part one of this video, I suggest you go check that out first before watching this one. The link is in the description box below. Just a quick review. Previously, we learned that corresponding angles are equal. It means that if one of the angles is 100 degrees, then the other is also 100. Alternate interior angles are also equal. So again, if one is 75 degrees, then the other is also 75 degrees. However, co-interior angles are not equal, but together they add up to 180 degrees. It means that if one is 70 degrees, then the other is 110 degrees. Let's try and answer this short exercises. Study this figure and identify the size of angle F, angle G, and angle E if the size of angle B is 75 degrees. So what do you think about the sizes of these angles? So let's start with angle F. Study the relationship of angle F with angle B. Clearly, they are corresponding angles, and therefore, they are equal. So if angle B is 75 degrees, then angle F is also 75 degrees. Next, study the relationship of angle G with angle B. These angles are on the opposite sides of the transversal. So they are alternate interior angles, which means that they also must have the same measurement. So if angle B is 75 degrees, then angle G is also 75 degrees. Moving on to angle E. Both angles B and E are on the same side of the transversal, which means that they are co-interior angles. They are not equal, but together they add up to 180 degrees. So if one angle is 75, which is angle B, then therefore angle E must be 105 degrees. And lastly, complete the size of the remaining angles if one angle is 62 degrees. Take your time and you may pause this video if you need to. But if you're ready, so let's go ahead and see what the figure with measurements would look like. So the figure should be like this. Were you able to identify the size of the angles correctly? I have no doubt you did great. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.